So this week we are starting our uh, new learning as our Governor Inslee and our State Superintendent have asked us to do. Up until today, we've been doing review work from previous units. But as you see in front of you, we have an interesting new unit to start on equations and inequalities. So I'm gonna go through what we would go through in class together. Um, and I will also share these um, images with you so you guys can go back through the slides if you want on your own computer or Chromebook. So this is a space alien game where alien families grow. Larger aliens have more body parts and more special powers, so they are more difficult to defeat in this game. Uh, mathematics skills and strategies help win the game. Um, I want you to notice what they have in common and how they change and grow. And I want you to think about how patterns might be involved in the red family and the green family and the blue family. Okay, we're gonna watch some animations together. This, this is called the Crabco family and we're gonna watch and see how they grow. See what stays the same and see what changes. Notice this is family member one and the same one is in the parentheses here. And there's the body parts. This is family number two. The two is in the parentheses and the total body parts is here. So this is our rule three times X plus three. And you see that here, this is the X three times X plus three gives us the Crabco family. So the question is going to be, if we have 18 body parts, what number would be at the X? What family member number would that be? Notice the comparison to the graph. Right here, we have family member four highlighted and up to 15. And when this dot hits the line at 15, it's also the line for four. And we will see four, 15 show up. Okay, the first aliens in this game, as I said, belong to the Crabcos. Um, and this is showing the equation. So this is a balanced scale and this side equals this side. This is 18. These are our three X's plus three. This is called algebra tiles, and it's also showing the equation. Instead of a scale, we have this line that is the middle. Over here are 18 that go with this. Here are our three X's plus three right here. So if you notice here, we've got uh, reminders of some of the work we've done earlier this year. If you remember very early in the year, we painted paint chips where we mixed different ratios of blue and yellow and made green. And we also did some they were hanging on our board that were that turned out different shades of purple. So this was ratios um, where it was Y is equal to 2B and Y is equal to 3B. So the yellow would be equal to three parts blue. We've also talked about pizzas being sold at $7 each with an algebraic rule of the cost of the pizzas equals seven N because $7 times each pizza would tell us how much the cost would be. When there was a delivery fee added, it would be here first. So the cost of our pizzas plus $5 delivery plus $7 for how many pizzas you buy. So 
So this briefly, I'm going to just go through this pretty quickly. This topic for our new unit, we will write rules to describe patterns, write equations to describe specific instances of patterns, solve equations using tables and graphs, solve equations using balance scale models and use symbols to record the steps, and we'll solve equations using algebra tiles and also use symbols. And remember our ant on roller skates? We're also going to be talking about inequalities later in this unit. This number line is showing x is greater than 7. So anything that would be colored in blue, like the number 17, would be greater than 7. And it would be further over here on the right. OK, please log into Agile Mind. And you can go through these um, animations again if you'd like, or just um, check and get those pages done that will be in Google Classroom under assignments that go with block one.